At Open Sesame, one of the things that's really important to us is to continually look out into the future and see what technologies and what platforms are available to improve the engagement of enterprise education and we came up with this idea to invite game developers in the Portland area to come together for a weekend jam and without any real preconceived ideas other than can we create content that's engaging, that's fun, and it's also valuable to people's careers and business education. I especially liked the idea that we're taking people who are gaming people, right, who know way more about gaming and bringing in some of the learning aspects rather than what we've done more of up till this point, which is taking folks from the learning industry and trying to bring in a little bit of gaming pieces. Play, as research shows us, is a major avenue for learning. And it makes things fun and we retain better through play and we learn a lot easier through play. Why not create scenarios with gaming and training that increase our ability to play and retain what we need to know and have fun? There's always been that learning in games. What there hasn't been is corporate learning in games, right? And there's no reason that we can't learn the things we need for our jobs the same way that we learn these other things that we learn in games. We've just never done it that way before. You know, that's the obvious answer that they can bring some engagement into uh, the learning offerings that we're developing. With gamers, they also have the storytelling aspect of it, which is something I'm really passionate about, is having stories in training. And so if there's a story behind the game and they remember that story, and they remember the things that they had to do to overcome in the game, it's all about retention, it's all about remembering. And if they don't remember it when they're back on the job, we haven't done what we need to do. We need a way to replace the knowledge that's leaving the workforce in a way that makes sense for those who are entering the workforce. We're spending more time trying to alter behaviors in the workplace. We need some type of mechanism that, that makes it second nature as, as an infusion of culture versus I passed a test. We have some phenomenal customers and partners here to help serve as mentors and judges. Companies like Siemens and Intuit and Vivid sent people here to really observe and see how they could help change the industry. We're having some good conversations. I'm enjoying it. The first big challenge was to decide what we wanted to make. I think that like once we get we get going on a, on a decision, we, we're kind of good to go for a while until like the crunch time at the end where it's all on his back. <laughs> uh, but I think we spent like, what, three, four hours deciding what kind of game we were gonna make. These guys were really able to take these prompts, riff on them a little bit, and then come up with some really interesting ideas uh, that not only iterated on you know what a training game could be, but also incorporated things that we don't normally see in games in general. So I thought it was uh, an exciting thing to watch. Yeah, we're always trying to do things that are new with, with the games we make, and uh, so being able to bring that into the corporate training world was, was definitely like a, a great opportunity. I think there's inertia and excitement behind this idea that is going to continue, so I'm really excited to see what happens next and what the teams come up with and what the group that, that put this on come up with after uh, reviewing the process and figuring out what we can do better next year. To get something like made and done in a weekend is it gives you a sense of accomplishment that sometimes you're lacking in your normal day-to-day -day work. Even if it seems daunting, still do it because yeah. then at the end you actually have something that you did and you can say, I am a game developer because I did a game. Look, you can see it. <laughs>